Hey guys, how's it going? Thank you so much for joining me once again for Quantum Magic Lab. This is day four. I hope you're ready to learn some really cool, amazing magic today. This one's not so much a magic trick, but more of a puzzle. And it's the kind of trick that every time I watch it, it fools me over and over again. I'm just not able to work out how it's done, but I've really tried to give an explanation at the end. I will definitely teach you how to do it, and I will do my best to tell you how it works right at the end of this. I am so happy to get all those amazing comments and videos that you've been sending in of you doing these tricks at home. Please keep them coming. I'll do my best to get back to absolutely everyone. If you haven't recorded a video yet then do that put it live tweet me tag me in kevin quantum on facebook twitter instagram all that sort of stuff love getting these videos love to seeing you learning how to do amazing magic so please keep them coming in great to see so many different people of different ages being part of this from kids as young as six seven years old all the way up to grown-ups i really try to make this as relevant to everyone as possible it's very difficult to do as you can imagine but i will do my best so i hope that you will be able to learn something from every single video so let's get started it's day four this is the amazing linking paper clips all right thanks so much for joining us once again for this one you need a bank note i've got a five pound note from uh from scotland and also two paper clips as well and the idea is for this one <clears throat> that you take the bank note and you stick the two paper clips onto the bank note everything's examinable nothing's very funny no funny business on this one just stick the paper clips down so you have the situation we have like this and when you take the bank note and do this they run out of the screen there they join together and they link magically together quite a phenomenal trick I actually even fools myself sometimes when i watch it back the secret for this one it's pretty much there's no secret the bank note does all the work for you and the setup that i just show you is what i'll run with through with you just now so you can see exactly how it does and then at the end we'll do an extra little bit to um uh, to make this even more amazing but you get your bank note and you fold it up into thirds <clears throat> just like this so you fold it into three little bits you take your first so have that first flap at the top with maybe towards your left hand you take your first paper clip <clears throat> and then you just stick that on the bank note just like this at that point just there and that sandwiches the top two sections the second paper clip you pop on in almost exactly the same way but you're going to sandwich the bottom two sections like that so that's the situation that you're in with the paper clips i'll bring that forward a little bit so you can see that i'll rotate it very slowly as well that's the situation and all you do is take the two bank notes and relatively quickly just go boom and then they jump off the banknote and join together just like that. Isn't that properly amazing? Well, to make this one even more interesting, what I'm gonna show you now is one little extra section on this, and that is with uh, with another hair bobble. So, all right, if you've mastered that one with the paper clips, then uh, you can up the difficulty levels by bringing in a, a bobble or an elastic band. You might remember we used these in an earlier lesson. And um, the same thing happens. You take your banknote and you pop the bobble though this time, on first roughly halfway and then again fold your banknotes into thirds just like we were doing before now for this one just move the bobble over a little bit so it's a bit closer to the uh for you the right hand side of your fold of the banknote and then do the same thing again take your first banknote uh, your first paper clip and pop that on then your second paper clip and pop that on so you can see the situation there, paperclip one, paperclip two, and then the bobble at the side. It's not really touching the paper clips, but again, three, two, one, and boom. The two paper clips now completely link, and all three things are joined together. The science behind this one is, uh, well, it's really hard to explain, really. Even when you do it in slow motion, it's quite difficult to see how it works. But essentially, the work that you would have to do with your fingers and trying to hook these together, all three of them, it would take quite a bit of time. The paper is doing that for you. The way the paper is folded links the two things together. And that action, that force that you're doing to pull the paper apart, we use that force to, to actually link all three of these things together. Even if you were to do it in slow motion, let's do that now, it's still really quite hard to keep track and see exactly how this is working. 
but for me when it gets to this point here this is when the hard work is done when you pull them at this point this is when they start linking together the two folds really closely at this point start to do some of the hard work for you and then when it does happen it just springs off and the, the folds do all the hard work and link them together last night actually what i did was i got a big long piece of paper and i made lots and lots of different folds in it like a concertina and i had a whole bunch of uh of paper clips and I put them on it and I managed to get five paper clips all joined together in a row and um, so if you get a piece of A4 paper and try that at home like a little concertina you'll find that you can do it with with way more paper clips than you thought actually one of them actually even broke because the strip when I pulled it apart it was bent so much that it sort of snapped in half so watch out for that don't hurt yourselves but then give them both a shot especially the one and when this adds into the the free I think it's the same thing the folds in the paper link them two together and this thing just gets in the way gets in the middle really cool trick maybe not a magic trick but something really really interesting that you can do yourselves and show your friends and that moment when they jump off and link together it does look magical so you can play it however you want have fun with this one Hey, thank you so much for joining me for day four of Magic Lab. Day five, that's going to be tomorrow. And tomorrow you will just need a piece of paper, an A4 piece of paper, some colouring in pens or a pencil and a little table to work at. And we're going to teach you a really cool mind reading trick. The first mind reading trick we have done so far on Magic Lab. I am super excited to show you how this one works. And it will help you read your friends or your parents or your, or your family's minds. <clears throat> I don't know if you know this, but yesterday, Yesterday was a massive uh, anniversary for me. It was 15 years since I learned my first ever magic trick. I made a video up because it was part of a TV show that was on Channel 4 at the time. I put that video live on my YouTube channel. So do check that out as well if you want to see my first magic trick and my first ever magic performance, which I will tell you now didn't go so well. There were playing cards all over the floor. I had to pick them up. But uh, do watch this and I hope it inspires you to realize that even when you've been doing magic for as long as I did have, you have to start somewhere and you do get better really quickly. All right, guys, I will see you tomorrow at 12 noon. Um, be there and I will see you soon for another Quantum Magic Lab. See you later.